So continuing on the um, workflow videos, this is uh, where we're kind of at with, with this song. We've pulled in all the tracks, we've adjusted some level, we've put the structure in uh, by adding markers and changing them to regions, and we've also put uh, all of our tracks into folders, including the single tracks, and that's explained why in the other videos, so that the single tracks are still visible when we collapse the folders in the mixer. Um, so what's going on here with these plugins? As I create a new track, nothing happens. If I put that track into a folder, you can see it's already happened here. It's loaded up three plugins for me. Now these are just the three plugins I've chosen. They can be anything you want, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's a cycle action. So for this, you're gonna need SWS extensions um, downloaded here, SWS extensions. So how do you create a cycle action? It's a custom action, uh, kind of a the next level of a custom action. So custom actions are here, you, you press the shift question mark to pull up custom actions. And if you look within custom actions, uh, you'll find open close cycle action editor if you have your SWS extensions installed. So I've created a shortcut. Show action list is here. Actions, show action list. So open the custom action and search for open cycle. Open close cycle action editor, run, and you get this. Okay, so these are all my cycle actions that I've created. Uh, most of them are just a console command. And um, what you can do then, you have a console command for an EQ. Go back into the cycle action editor and uh, that is the custom action. It's, it's created a custom action for you and then you can create a shortcut for that. So then, you know, for instance here, uh, on my new track, that's the shortcut for that EQ. Um, so without calling up the FX window, that's a shortcut for that delay. Uh, that's a shortcut for that compressor. That's a shortcut for Saturn. Okay, so that's kind of the, the first aspect of what's going on with these folders. Uh, the next thing that's happening is, as I've said before, save current track selection, restore save track selection, just kind of tidies up the process at the beginning and the end of taking you back to whatever you were looking at before in the mix. So basically what we need to do is, the, is it's however many, eight steps or something. You insert a track above the selected tracks. So that means um, if I create these three, four, five new tracks, select these three tracks, there. Okay, so that's the new track there, here, and I'm gonna call it test, okay? So that's the first thing that happens is it inserts a track above the tracks you select. The next thing that happens is, is I have three console commands to include, to load up the plugins. So as you can see, these can be anything that I want them to be. And I've done one here where the console command is add re-EQ, saturation, and rear comp. So if I close that, if I grab these two, yes. Okay, it's created a folder, and the three plugins it's put in are these three. So it doesn't matter what plugins you decide you, you want to have load up on, on each folder. It could just be one EQ, it could be nothing. You know, it's, it's not always a good idea to just by default have plugins load up, but uh, sometimes it can be nice just to not have to think about that. The next thing it says is rename selected tracks. So that means rename the new track that you've uh, inserted, which is the folder. So it asks you to rename the folder. 
and it re restores the save track selection, which is the three tracks that we selected here. It goes back to that track selection. and makes a folder from those selected tracks. So select previous tracks, keeping current selection, select children of selected folder tracks, and make a folder from selected tracks. Okay. Um, I'm not even sure if, if one of these actions might be redundant, but th I think this is just what I've had in since the start, and that, that works really well. So uh, yeah, it's really useful. Um, just to have one shortcut that creates a folder, renames the folder, or asks you what to rename the folder, and then adds the plugins that you decide that week you're in love with. So um, uh, that's 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 it really on folders. Okay, thanks very much.